What's up, everyone? It's Matt Rosa, KK, MV M397, and this is a little update on this 172nd Sinanju. So, we're moving along, moving, doing a little bit every night. <laughs> um, last thing you guys saw, I posted some photos on Facebook, but worked on the shield last night, doing the reverse wash and getting that all done. And then I did the panel lining and did a top coat. Um, I'm going to talk about top coat here for a second. I get a lot of, a lot of questions about which top coats I use, and this on this kit this client wanted a he didn't want it flat and he didn't want gloss so i was using um all clad semi matte and i was getting this finish which is what i wanted but it's been coming out like this which is really glossy compared to this so one thing about all clad as i found is that between bottles of paint and top coats it's very inconsistent so what i'm going to have to do is i think i'm going to have to go back and do a Mr. Color semi-gloss or something or semi-matte because this is not going to work. Com two completely different finishes. This is most, this is, I would consider this a semi-gloss and I don't, I'm not digging that. I like this. This is a little on the flatter side. Um, it just looks better. So I, I sprayed this last night I didn't, and I looked at it this morning I didn't like it. Shook up the bottle really good and I sprayed it again before I went to work and it's still drawing too glossy for my liking. I like this. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do is once the kit is all done, because I have, I'll show you in here in a second, I'm working on skirts tonight. I've got inconsistency in the top coat. So once everything is done, I'm going to have to go through and pick a different top coat and do a overall kind of misting of everything, which is not ideal, but in this case, since I'm already so far along on the project, it's really my only choice. Um, so it, it just is what it is, unfortunately. So all clad, semi-matte, not too keen with the consistency. So tonight I've been working on skirts and doing some assembly and stuff. Um, I didn't do a video, but I did do some uh, assembly on the upper torso. And you can see here, so all this has been glued together on the top. The only part that isn't glued is this crest piece this comes off because you have to be able to get to the batter this is going to get this off with one hand without messing up the paint should come off fairly easy i say that let's see my hands in the way but there we go so it's it's in there pretty good i i, I it's not it's only pinned on one side really so the battery will go in there for the LED, for the head for the LED, so, um, so that'll be removable. And we're gonna put that back in there. And I may loosen that up a little bit. It's it's a little tight right now, but I don't want it so loose that it pops off. So the torso is looking really good. Um, I'm real happy with this so far. Um, you know, I, I try to go assemble assemble as as much as I can as I go. Um, assembly is very nerve-wracking for me. Final assembly on the on the last Jag Dog I think took me like 12 hours. I just have to go super slow. It's really easy to screw things up. It's easy to get glue on things you don't want glue on. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to assemble as I go just so I have less final assembly in the end. So as I go, you know, doing so like these skirts um, for the most part, except for the back, has been glued on. This is still going to get another uh, top coat put it, um, because I want to seal all that in again. So those are the front skirts. Oh, see, here's the back. That's what holds it on. And it just looks like that. So nothing too fancy on the back of these on the front skirts. And when it's off, it looks like... So it's not glued on yet, but it looks like that. So that's nothing really too exciting. And these come on and off very easily, so um, once it's all glued together, it'll come on and off easily. So it'll be good for transport. And then the side skirts are super, super loose right now, so I actually have some blue tack on this because it kept wanting to fall off. I'm going to take these off just for a second, and I'll show you those, and I'll explain how I had to assemble those a little sooner than I wanted. And, oh, let me show you the back side. Or here. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to do a 360 of this with the skirts on so you can kind of get a sense of what this looks like with the skirts on. Okay, so 
to back up a little bit. So the front, and then let me move this arm out of the way. Uh, before I put the torso together, I tightened all the nuts on the uh, shoulder joints really well because I want to be able to hold that uh, beam rifle beam beam rifle beam rifle bazooka combo, and that's a heavy weapon. So there's a side skirt, and the back skirts are, except for the mechanicals, are have been all assembled, and those look really nice. So let's take some of this off. So the back skirts still have their internals, and I'll show you what those look like because I have a ton and ton of detail painting to do. <laughs> I'll show you all the pieces that get some detail painting. So it's going to be um, lots of time with the brush. And I'll do some videos of that. I, I'm not a very good hand painter. I'm getting better because I'm doing a lot of figures now. So I'm getting better at it. So again, there's that torso again. Okay. So the back skirts have this nice internal here. And I've been playing with... Um, some paint pens. I wanted to tr see if I could find a more efficient way of doing detail painting. So I bought a bunch of paint pens. Some of these are water based and some are water based, or some are water based and some are oil based. So these are from Sharpie. These three are water based, and there's a gold, a copper, and a silver. Uh, I like this copper color. That's the color of this pipe. I've been doing some testing, and I like the way that looks. Um, I did a little bit of this gold and silver, and I'm not real keen on the gold. It's too yellow. But the silver I like, and it goes on relatively smooth. Um, not as smooth as airbrushing, so I'm going to probably mask that off and end up spraying it. But I'm not a real fan of that gold right there. And then I bought a whole other set, and I really haven't played with these too much. I only did one little spot, and I really liked it. And these are oil-based Sharpies, and I heard good things about these. So as far as metallics, I've got gold, silver, and... Um, there's another one I thought I had gold, silver, and copper. Maybe not. I got those. But I got, um, there's brown, there's red, green, purple, you know, all sorts of different colors. So these will be nice to do. I think some detail painting. And let me show you the difference of the tips. So the water base have this really kind of nice small tip which is actually pretty good for getting in there smaller details. Now, the only thing I don't like about the oil base is the tip is real big, but it's oil-based paint, so it's thicker. So it's got this sponge-type tip where this is a hard tip, the water-based. But the one little spot I did with the gold, I just wanted to try it out. It looks awesome. I mean, it's super shiny. So that little spot right there is that gold oil-based paint. And it is awesome, and it dries really quick. It's super tough. I like that a lot. So I'm going to try to use that marker as much as possible. Now I'll just put some of the paint in the palette and I'll use a pen or a paintbrush. So it's kind of playing with those. Um, let's get back to the skirts. So this got that part and I've got another piece that's off to the side because it doesn't require any painting, but um, I'll go in here like this. And then there's like a cylinder piece that goes in there. I've got that painted metallic blue and it's on, off to the side because that part's done. but. So I'm gonna, um, on these, I'm just going to paint these pipes and these uh, nuts and the little ends here. And I think that's it. I may paint this grill, but we'll see. Because these, this skirt and the side skirts are the only ones that have a really cool detail. So now let me talk about the side, side skirts for a second. Now, I was just kind of playing with these and I assembled these faster than I really wanted to. Because I really wanted to get in there and do all the detail painting before I did assembly. But... Uh, it, I was playing with it and I got it assembled and I really couldn't get it apart. So <laughs> I kind of got stuck. Um, I was having a hard time getting it together and I found out that I had to pull this, I really had to pull these, the side skirt, the, the, the sides apart. And once I did that, this, this piece popped in. It wasn't wanting to go in. Um, so yeah, so now I have to go in there real carefully. I want to paint the pipes down in there. There's a little cylinder detail I want to paint in there. I want to paint some of the details around the thrusters. Like here on this one, I was playing with that paint pen. And um, so I wanted to paint that detail. I want to paint so the details on these I want to paint. I want to paint these, these nut heads. I want to paint these. 
I want to paint the tops here because you'll see those even when the skirts are on. I want to paint that little nut there. I want to paint the pipes down in here, one, two, and this detail. So, you know, it's, I'm just going to be doable. It's just going to be harder now because everything's assembled. So I'll, get, I'll be a little, a little harder. And now here's a good instance where I'm getting two different finishes um, from that top coat. And this is from the same bottle. Um, it's actually sprayed within the same time period. So you notice that the center part has got a lot more sheen to it, more shine. Come on. Than the rest. And this is the way this is what I want it to look like. This isn't flat. This is I really like this. It's like an eggshell. I really love it. I hate this. It's like a it's not glossy and I don't know. I just don't like the way it looks. It's I hate it. So I want to get back to this eggshell look. So I'm gonna have to find a different top coat um, and just mist it on these parts and it's just after it's all done and that's just how I'm gonna have to handle that unfortunately, but you know, now I've learned my lesson. Stay away from the um, all-clad uh, semi-mat. I like the flat. I use that all the time. So that's where I am on the Sinanju. Um, I think we're going to call it quits tonight. Um, had a pretty busy day at work, but got a couple hours in tonight, and that's all I really wanted to do. So nice little update there. And then as far as um, detail painting goes, um, I've got all these pieces over here need some sort of masking detail painting i mean there's just a lot you know these go these are for the legs um that's why i was hoping those paint markers would come in handy i could get in there and do some of that but um it's gonna be a brush these pieces will need some masking just because there's large areas and this is on that backpack and the backpack looks really really cool lots of cool details um let's see what else i can show you it's gonna get dark for a second because i'm tied in let me show you the bazooka on the rifle because i haven't showed that yet now it's not really all together, but I can show you a little bit of how this works. So let me move the skirts out of the way so they don't get damaged. Do, 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 do. I'm always trying to avoid damaging things after I get them done. Because <laughs> I do it. I damage stuff after I've already done it. It's like, shit, I gotta go back and fix that. So that's just part of, part of model building. And even though I have all this space up here, I, I just never seem to have enough space. You know, I could use a space twice as big as this and I'd still use it all. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the bazooka. And this is looking pretty nice. Uh, this has been painted with... Um, what did I paint this with? All clad... No, not all clad. He's Mr. Color Steel. That's what this is. It looks really good. Um, so there's the bazooka. And here are the, I need this piece to show you how this kind of goes together. I think I've got enough here to show you. Come on. Here are the rounds that go in the bazooka. Now these are all painted. I'll mask off this, um, this bottom part will get masked off and painted a different color as well as this top because I don't want that to be red, but these are nice and shiny red. And this will slide into here, like that. This part, hold on, there's an order that this has to go in. Okay, this goes in here like this first. This will get glued permanently. There's no really re no reason that this would ever open, but this has a sliding mechanism to open this up, just like, um, why is it? Oh, I see. It's been a while since it. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Hold, oh, please. That's going to go in there first. Then this can go in. Let's see. There we go. And then it kind of slides in and locks like that. And then I've got the rifle here, and I put a magnet. Um, right there you can't see it and the magnet in the bottom of the rifle because these go together just like the master grade So that goes in like that. Oh, and there's also a magnet in here and a magnet there So boom boom and those will that's not coming apart uh, Let me get the rest of the rifle to kind of show you how that all locks together Again, sorry for Coming over here in the dark
Uh, let's see. So just like the master grade, this will get pinned up in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, hold on. This goes. Okay. Hold on. It's been a while since I've played with this. I painted this a couple weeks ago. Hopefully I didn't scratch. Oh, yeah, I actually did pretty good. The paint's had a long time to cure, so it's it's nice. This piece goes up. I may have to look at the instructions. I think this goes up in here. Yep, hold on. Got to get the instructions to see how this fits together real quick. It's been a while. Please hold. Do, do, do. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay, so that depth of the power. No, I had that right. So this has got to come off. This comes in. Yeah, I had it right. There's, I couldn't get it in with it all together like that. This comes in like this. This comes in like that. Then this comes in. Like so, and then it slides in. And this bazooka, it went together pretty well. There's a lot of parts, and uh, the fit, the fit was actually, I was pretty surprised at how well everything fit together. I was a little worried there. Again, and this comes in like that. Very nicely. And then this will get pinned. And then it'll, this just like the master grain, it locks in. Bam. And this just looks really kick ass. And once I get all the little metal bits that come with this on there and the scope and everything, it's gonna look really, really slick. And then you can also, um, as I mentioned earlier, I tightened down all the, the screws really, really tight on the, um, on the arms. So I want to be able to hold this sucker up. And then it also will, um, going to the shield. Uh, I believe it does. The bazooka will. So it won't go with the beam rifle, but take the rifle off. And the bazooka will go on the shield. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right there, just like that. So what I haven't done yet I scratched a little paint right there, but that's okay because I'll touch it up. There's no reason once this is together to take this apart. I don't know why you'd ever want to take these rounds out. Uh, so the bazooka, I'll put a magnet in the shield, the same spot that I put a magnet, and now that can go in the shield, just like that. So pretty cool. Looks good. So that's really it for tonight. Just a little update. Uh, I wanted to show you the skirts because I got those kind of semi-assembled. I wanted to talk about the top coat issues I was having and what I have to do to fix that. So um, lots of detail painting to come. So I've been kind of bouncing around. I kind of, I still have some masking to do on some of the back panels. I kind of got sick of that. So I still have some areas like this to do. But see, even on this, it's a different... It's a different sheen. This is like between the eggshell. So I'm getting like three or four different um, results from my top coat. And it's very frustrating. Um, I've tried spraying on wet, dry. It all comes out different. So um, oh, this is a nice part. This turned out really well. This is going to go on the bazooka. And that's just a candy color. And this will get masked off. And I'll spray that black. And I think that's it for tonight. Yeah, talked about just about everything. Um, Thanks for watching as usual. It's Matt Mrozik, a.k.a. MVM397, signing off. See ya.